Welcome to the Game Ramble first look video for The Spirit and the Mouse. My name is Dark Cloud and I'm joined by Numbiel Mrs. Cloud. This game is developed by Al Bloon and published by Armor Game Studio. It's a lush narrative adventure game where you play as a tiny mouse with a big heart. Oh, that sounds wholesome. It <laughs> does. Guess this would be the tiny little mouse mm -hmm. over here. Cute. Okay, so we've got start game options and quit. Let's take a look at the options first. In game, we can set the camera, mouse sensitivity, some accessibility options here. In controls, WSAD, interactive space, crouch, and shock. Okay. Speak to follower, electric mode, map, and photo mode. Some interesting keys here that I wouldn't uh, associate with a tiny mouse. Yeah, electric mode, what on earth? <laughs> yeah. Video, you can set the full screen, resolution, quality, frame rate, V-Sync, brightness, anti-aliasing. Mm -hmm. Not bad. And then in audio, you can adjust the master volume, music volume, sounds, and ambience. Oh, cool. And then finally, you can select the language. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started with the spirit and the mouse. Mm -hmm. Nice accordion music there. Very French. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our story begins on a cold, rainy night in the quaint village of Santa Eclair. All the villagers sheltered in their warm homes, hiding from the ominous storm looming overhead. Not everyone was so fortunate as to be warm and dry this night. Mm -hmm. is off to a rough start. Mm -hmm. It has been a long night for this little mouse. Alone in a village unaware of her presence, the mouse found herself searching for a feeling of purpose. But unbeknownst to her, life was about to take an unexpected turn. Yes, we're playing as a tiny little mouse. Mm -hmm. Pondering so, purpose in life. <laughs> not so long ago we were playing as a stray cat. <laughs> yeah, there's really an uptick in the amount of games playing as little critters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it looks like we are running. We can use the mouse to look around. We use our mouse to look where our mouse is looking. <laughs> Space to listen. <laughs> Those damned lights! What's happening? The electricity keeps cutting out. I really didn't need this today. Okay. The mouse saw unhappy humans and longed to help. That's a first for a mouse. Mm -hmm. But she was just a simple mouse. What could she do? I guess we're gonna find out. Now you can open your journal and your map apparently. So to climb small ledges, we just walk towards them. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see our map, current location, the mouse. Mm -hmm. so I guess this would be the village. It says South Square over here. Ah. But we have an entire village to explore. Oh, that's cool. cool. And what does our journal have to say? This Quest journal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, you have so people that you can help, but you still haven't found them. Yeah, it looks like it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. What, this? what in the world? Mm. When I open the fridge, the doorbell rings. What's wrong with this place? The thunderstorm from earlier must have messed with the electricity. It makes this place feel haunted. Mm -hmm. If only the humans had a little help from someone with their problems, the mouse thought. Surely they would be happier. Mm. Space to climb ledges. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. It's still raining. Where things are being. Uh, mouse squeaks when we mm -hmm. climb up lattices as well. Ah, okay. Cool. There we go. Lumbering up here. Mm. What happened to that cat from earlier? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, it's raining again. I just hung out my clothes to dry. I better reel in my laundry before it gets soaked. Hmm, that old window is stuck again. Let's open up. Why is she wearing sunglasses in the rain? <laughs> My favorite scarf. Mm. Oh dear. That scarf is going on an adventure. <laughs> okay. Of course, it will get stuck on the highest point in the village. Mm. Is that a lightning rod, though? <laughs> the mouse saw what happened and thought. She could climb the big pole and bring back the piece of cloth. I would not recommend that, like no mess. This was a chance. Tonight she could finally make a difference for someone. I that guess she isn't. Pole. Tonight she will bring even a little happiness to Santa Eclair. Ooh yeah. dear. That <laughs> night she's gonna get fried to a crisp by a <laughs> lightning. Yeah. So we're on the south square. How do you pronounce this town's name? No. Santa Clair. I hope so. Okay, I'm Jake the... <laughs> My French isn't the, yeah, the best. Mine is so. non-existent, so <laughs> I will just take your word for it. Mm. It's quite a jump. I guess we need to get up to that uh, mm. lightning rod. Yep, yeah, retrieve mm. the scarf. There you go. What could go wrong? Um. Assassin's Creed, here we come. I don't think any of the assassins were foolish enough to climb up lightning rods. We've got a dedicated squeak button. Uh -huh. cute. What does that accomplish, actually? Um, I mean, it's cute and everything, but... You can lure cats with it. But <laughs> why would we want to lure cats? And what are these? Why are they highlighted? Uh, hmm. I think that's for a different quest. I guess so. But it looked like you could climb up something there. Mm. I don't know what my jumping capabilities are, if I can climb up these, they don't look like. So if we leave our little mouse alone for a while, mm -hmm. it curls up and sleeps. <laughs> I think that's very safe, but it is quite adorable. Mm -hmm, very. So we need to get up to that. Yeah, I up think there. there I was see a... some lights that look like it can be climbed. That lattice can be climbed there to your right. This one? Yeah, can't you climb up there? I guess so. There's light shining on it is probably a clue. Yeah. Here we go. Up we go. Because mm, the game just taught us to climb a lattice. So. Mm. Okay, mm. we're going in this direction. Follow the piping, I guess. Yeah, the scaffolding leads mm -hmm. the way. Yeah. To danger, but what do I know? Mm -hmm. The little mouse will turn into the flash. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Super speed. It's like... Okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, you know your science. Don't ever do this. It's not even science, it's common sense. But mm -hmm. I guess, uh, what would a little mouse know about? Lightning. Interesting to view the world from the perspective of a tiny <laughs> storm clouds are rolling in. Yep, great timing there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you put on your rubber suit? <laughs> mouse in the rubber suit. Mm -hmm. Okay, helpful little mouse. No good deed goes unpunished. Okay, mm -hmm. so. No, get it quick, get out th down there, no. <sighs> he said the suspense is killing you. Yeah. It's like, take that damn scarf and jump. Well, it probably wouldn't have been the game if the mouse didn't do this, so... <laughs> Maybe there will be some good coming from it. Uh -oh. Look at that. Ooh, that's a big one. Mm. Zap. <laughs> oh, no. The end. The end. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm sure the mouse survived that somehow, some mm. way. Oh, she's in heaven because she's a good mouth mouse. A little crispy. Mm. Hey, 
Hello, hello, you down there. There's no time to be asleep. Wake up. Mm. Okay. It's got golden ears now. Mm. And a golden tail. <laughs> ah, finally, I thought you were dead. Always oh, ignoring me. Looks like the impact charged you with electric energy. My energy. Okay. Come back up here to the lightning rod. We need to talk. Don't waste my time scampering. Just use that electrical wire box over there. Get close to the box and shock it. You have my powers. So you might as well use it. <laughs> and hurry up. Okay. Okay. Shocking. Oh yeah, shock. What? <laughs> we are now electrical mouse. <laughs> Wait, isn't that Pikachu? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's not quite a mouse, is it? Mm, adequate. Most people can't handle their first wire and end up a little toasty. Whatever prompted you to climb up here the first time doesn't matter. What matters is you've inconvenienced me. Because <laughs> of you, I'm stuck inside the lightning rod. Oh, this is so humiliating. So come back here and shock it to free me. <laughs> okay. Okay. A rather shocking development. You're gonna let go of your powers. <laughs> huh. Okay, free. What are we freeing here? Something. What if it's like some evil mastermind electric entity? Just <laughs> do the thunderbolt attack. <laughs> Mouse looks a little concerned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hide right there. Okay. What on earth? Look rather menacing. <laughs> Very. Looks like an uh, evil snowman. Snowman. Okay. <laughs> you. You. Do you have the faintest idea what you just did? Why did you climb a lightning rod like this in the middle of a thunderstorm? Do you have a death wish? <laughs> why did you have to choose today of all days? Me and my cursed luck. Why or oh why did they think it was a good idea to send me in this pitiful village? And you? Ugh. Are you a mortal creature? What are you? Some kind of rat? <laughs> a mouse. Ah, of course. Clearly a crucial distinction. Pardon me. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Allow me to explain. My name is Lumion. I'm a spirit guardian. The other guardians now are sent around the world to help humans. Humans don't know any of this, of course. Without our assistance, humans would truly be helpless. But what else can we do? Someone has to help them. But our collision was so violent, it transferred most of my wondrous powers to you. Now I'm stuck on this rod and cannot fulfill my duty. A spirit guardian such as myself, stuck on Earth. This is humiliating and all your fault. You need to take responsibility and help me. Can't believe I need to rely on a mortal creature, but I have no choice. Perk up those big ears. Fortunately, this was a routine spirit guardian job. The assignment was to check on Saint Eclair. We had reports of an alarming number of troubled villagers. This simple job was very important for the maker. It's only natural you have to complete this task now. Once you help a human, they'll generate excess happiness. Enough of that, and I can leave. <laughs> Did you understand everything? I hate to repeat myself. <laughs> it's annoying. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yes. Uh, good, good. Now start going to the eastern part of Saint Clair. I can sense troubled humans around there. Head to the gate down there. You can't miss it. <laughs> so you've now become... I'm a guardian mouse. Mm -hmm. Suppose since you've got some of my powers, you might as well use them. Wisely, mind you. I'll give you more information once you reach East Street. Now off you go. Don't come back until you've got at least one piece of happiness. Can't spend all night on Earth, so you better be quick. <laughs> eh? We've really annoyed the guardian. Lumion. Guardian powered by happiness. It doesn't sound very happy. <laughs> at least we can fast travel along electrical wires, it seems. Wow. It's a very good power to have. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just get to the East Street and see what awaits us, and then we can end the video. But so far, it's quite a charming adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I think younger gamers will really like the story and the yeah. setup. Really cool. Okay, shock it, and then we go. <laughs> cool premise. Guardian powered by happiness. <laughs> yeah, and helping humans as a mouse, viewing mm. everything from your little mouse perspective. Mm. 
So apparently you're gonna have all kinds of electrifying new powers to help you in your quest. And yeah, mm. you need to work in tandem with Lumi and the Spirit Guardian to restore balance to this quaint village. Ah, it is a beautiful little village. Yeah. I wanna go on holiday there. <laughs> I don't know, these people sound like they have lots of trouble. If you need a mouse to help you, it's probably not the best place for a holiday. <laughs> So the game's going to have electricity-based powers and character-driven puzzles. Mm. It's also going to have some charming mini-games. Yeah, overall it looks very wholesome. Mouse! <laughs> it's me, Lumion. Can you hear me? <laughs> Thanks to my wondrous powers that you currently have most of, we can communicate across great distances. This is your first time helping humans as a spirit guardian, but fortunately I'm here to show you the way. Don't get used to it. I won't hold your poor every step of the way. Mm -hmm. See that building with the bright windows? There are humans inside. The spirit Guardian's duty is to help the troubled humans of this world. We can sense their emotions. These humans are in need of help. Get close to them and you'll be able to overhear their conversation. Don't worry, they won't be able to see you as it's dark outside. Now go on, scoot. Be quick about it. I don't have all night. <laughs> it's dark outside, but this mouse is a bit glow in the dark now, so... <laughs> Have you ever seen a glow in a dark mass? I don't know, but this one is filled with electricity. <laughs> Let's see what are these humans up to. Mm -hmm. Plants are gone, tables are clean, I can finally watch my TV show. The new season premiere is airing tonight. Every week you say the same thing, Monsieur, even though the show is dull. Have you ever missed one episode? Oh, Louis, I've never missed any of them since the show started airing eight years ago. Oh gosh, ten minutes left. It's going to be so great. Let's turn on the TV. Err, <laughs> no signal. What? Oh no, not now. What's happening? That's bad luck, Monsieur. Maybe the power outage from earlier caused the problem. The lightning might have struck the antenna on the roof. It's already happened once. I fear that it's too late to call an electrician, Monsieur. There is nothing we can do until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Can't even go to repair it myself. We lost the keys to the roof weeks ago. Without the antenna running properly, the TV will not operate. Mm -hmm. But Louis, I can't miss the show. I watched every premiere. Why did it have to happen tonight? You could just watch a recording of it tomorrow, Monsieur. You'll never understand. Mm -hmm. By the way, why are you still working this late? I told you to go home long ago. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I had some glasses that needed deep cleaning for tomorrow. Very urgent stuff, Monsieur. If you say so, Louis. That doesn't solve how I can watch my show tonight. What can I do? <laughs> okay. Did you get that, Mouse? <laughs> Once we solve their troubles, the happiness they generate will help me get my strength back. The humans are mostly right. The antenna might be faulty, but something else is going on up there. Mm, that's quite a climb. How do you mortal creatures tolerate scurrying around? At the top you'll find the antenna and a very special device. <laughs> Why well, am I handling a simple job like this? They should have it already fix all of this. I swear on the maker, those little kiblins never get anything done. <laughs> Enough dawdling. Climb to the roof above the cafe to find that antenna. Shoo! <laughs> the uh, old man and the TV. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's going to be the trend. trend in this game, basically. Help out humans do all kinds of little tasks and things and get that happiness. <laughs> You also now have to search every nook and cranny of the village to complete objectives and collect items. Ah, cool. So yeah, like I said, very, very wholesome game overall, very charming. Mm. And yeah, I think the young and the young at heart is really going to enjoy this one. Yeah, I think so. I'd really like to see what the mouse gets up to. Yeah, and how, much... how all of this is going to turn out. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that cat from earlier is also going to make an appearance again. Maybe we get to zap it. <laughs> yes, this is The Spirit and the Mouse. It's available now on Steam, GOG, itch.io, Epic Games Store and Nintendo Switch. So if you like these kinds of third-person <laughs> puzzle, platformy, adventure type games, I think this one will provide some entertainment yeah very cool yeah thanks for joining us thank you remember to like subscribe and share if you enjoy our videos until next time bye